What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to do a skull mount on your own, at your house. Um, super easy to do. Shout out to Parker's Wildlife Taxidermy. That's our family taxidermy business. Um, my dad's head honcho of that. So if, you've, or if you're looking for a taxidermist or need a taxidermist here in Coleman, Alabama, or you don't have a taxidermist and you're out of state, check us out on Facebook, Parker's Wildlife Taxidermy. All right, so there's gonna be a few things that you need for the skull mount. You're gonna need something to boil water in. You're gonna need a pressure washer, either a gas pressure washer or an electric pressure washer. If you've got a gas pressure washer, just be aware of the pressure. Don't be breaking any of the bones or anything like that as you're pressure washing. You can buy this at a local salon. It is Salon Care Professional 30 Volume clear stabilized formula you'll need a hammer you're gonna need a either flathead or phillips head screwdriver for a drill whatever you have um, a mask if you don't want to get stuff all over you as you're pressure washing earmuffs if you don't want to get your eardrums busted out from the pressure washer and that's it and we'll cut that on high and I'm gonna bring this water to a rolling bowl. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna skin every bit of this meat off. I need everything gone basically except for the skull and the antlers. All this skin has to go. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So you get a knife, I've got a scalpel here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a Y. This is just the way that I do it. I'm gonna do a Y from this antler burr to this antler burr, and I'm gonna meet in the middle here. So I'm gonna bump this all the way up to the base of the antler. And I'm gonna cut all the way down. Now, again, this doesn't have to be perfect because we're not using any of this hide or any of this skin. I just need to get to the base of the antler. I'm gonna take another knife, I'm gonna poke where I did the V, I'm gonna poke in there, and I'm gonna cut all the way down, just like that, to where I can open that up, like so. Now, what I'm doing here is, I'm just gonna take as much meat off as I can as I'm skinning, because the more meat I take off now, the less meat I have to take off later. Um, you don't have to do that, but it's just easier because I'm already here, so I might as well take off as much as I can. So now that I have that opened up, I've got to get the skin away from the bottom of the antler. Flathead screwdriver and a hammer that we'll also use again in a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it where you cut, and you're going to kind of angle it parallel with the base of the antler. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just peel that skin away. And as you can see, I just peeled that skin away from the base of the antler. And what I'm gonna do is work it all the way around the base of the antler. Then we'll cut both ears off, because I've gotta get all this stuff off and you can see the necks a little bit longer than what we need so I'll show you how to cut that off in just a little bit and basically what I'm doing is I'm just skinning the deer I'm skinning the face out to get every bit of this off okay so there's the neck so there's a joint right here where this bends I'm gonna cut in that joint not too far above otherwise I'm cutting into what's going to be a part of the skull mount now to work around the nose I've got a scalpel here you're just gonna peel you can follow the skin right there again you don't have to be perfect in this because it doesn't matter if you cut holes in the skin you're not keeping it you will not need the bottom jaw, so you don't even have to mess with the bottom jaw. Easiest way to take off this bottom jaw 
is to cut as much meat as you can. So check this out. That jaw goes up, down, like this. So you can see it moving just like that. I'm gonna take my knife and cut as much as I can up in there to get it away from as much meat as I can. Also, take my knife, run it up the jaw so the jaw bone goes up. Run my knife blade up into all that muscle. I'm gonna cut in between the, on the cheek here to get this all loose. Basically, I'm just getting this all loose to where I can pop that jaw open. I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna push to where that jaw opens up, just like that. Now, that's the jawbone. So now I'm just gonna cut all this away. Gotta get the eyeballs out. Um, I'm gonna take scalpel. I'm gonna kinda pull it up. Sharp knife works really well here. All right, that's ready to go in the bowl. Once you skin the deer head, be sure not to let it dry out because if it dries out, that's what causes that dark, nasty color on a skull mount. If you've ever seen it, it doesn't really get that real white, pretty finish. It's because sometimes people let it dry, they either skin it and then they just throw the skull in the back of their truck or they let it rot, something like that happens. And once you go to pressure wash and once you go to bowl it, it just doesn't get the pretty white color that you want. I'm gonna put these in two at a time. You want it to be completely submerged and you want it to boil for about 20 minutes. Just a constant um, rolling bowl, consistent rolling bowl for about 20 minutes. And then once we're done, we're gonna get it out and pressure wash. You can use a milk basket. You can use a basket for your truck or you can pressure wash them on the ground. Your goal here is to get every single piece of meat, flesh, cartilage, fat, all of it. Every piece off of this entire skull. So once you get done pressure washing, you're gonna empty out the water that you boiled the heads in, and you're gonna put clean water in here. You're gonna bring that to a bowl, and then you're gonna take your peroxide. A half a bottle of this is absolutely plenty for what you wanna do with a skull mount. After these bowl, we'll let these sit for about 10, to 15 minutes again, and then we'll rinse them off. As I'm submerging these, you don't really want to put too much of the antlers in here um, because it'll turn them kind of a kind of a lighter color. So I just took these out. You can already see how white they, they've gotten. So now for the final rinse. And here we are, finished products. This is Parker's, pearly white, that's what you want. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope this works out for you. And if not, read Parker's Wildlife.